It's a bull. Good afternoon. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale by the sea. A little uh, windy out there still and little waves going on. You know, it's still a nice beach day. Yesterday was just completely rainy all day. Uh, so, gosh, I guess everyone got it in South Florida. Well, beach cold weather, that's for sure. <laughs> hey, let's move in to uh, see what's happening in markets here. And give me one second, close out of that window, and we'll move to the next here. Wow, 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 kaboom. <laughs> Look at the price of gold, man. Kind of what I expected. I've been saying this for quite some time, especially for you silver stackers out there. Follow gold, follow gold. Where gold goes, silver will follow as well. Now the gold to silver ratio, I think has moved uh, a little bit higher. It's close to 80 to one right now. I think it was 79 and change to one. Uh, and uh, gold's made a bigger move, I think overall than silver has, but still looking pretty healthy. Uh, Right now, my feelings are, I'm not sure if this is due because of potential of war, the ridiculous idea that there's going to be a war when there's not, all the jawboning that's going on there, um, or is this just kind of an indication of things to come with gold? I mean, we've seen strength in gold uh, uh, holding up its own for quite some time. I mean, it's not getting monkey hammered as bad as the CFTC, is COMEX actually tightening up on monkey hammering and precious metals? Uh, maybe with gold, maybe not so much with silver, it sure seems, because silver uh, should be much higher than it is right now. But no less, if you believe, and uh, <clears throat> if gold maintains, not if you believe, but if gold maintains this 1870-plus uh, level, or, and especially 1880 and 1890, uh, and continues to climb, uh, I think uh, you're going to see silver kind of do a slingshot type of deal. Not even a slingshot, you're going to just see silver uh, jump up dramatically as well. However, there could be a lag time. I've seen this before. Uh, and again, you could see so you could see gold drop off a little bit. So the real question is: Is gold too high right now, or is silver too low? <laughs> One or the other. And silver's too low, in my opinion. I think gold's going to continue to climb. Uh, I'm curious though to see if we're going to see a $1,900 day. Maybe not today. And uh, will tomorrow be our witching hour for the monkey hammering? Friday, <laughs> we will see. Uh, let's see what the market ranges are. Up 26 bucks, 1868 to 1897. Currently sitting within a dollar of that high that we saw probably uh, early this morning. Uh, we'll take a look at the 24-hour charts here shortly. Uh, silver 23.45, uh, uh, the low and a high of 23.87, about a 20 cent range. They're actually 40 something cents from the high and low. Uh, it says up 21 cents uh, in the open. I think New York open. Uh, so 23.82 currently, we're kind of looking at that 24, but silver isn't quite making the same moves that gold is. Uh, as I said, I think if gold maintains these levels and continues to rise, you will see silver. We'll wake up one morning and silver will just make that dollar jump or something real quickly. Uh, and I don't think we're too far off from that right now. Let's just see what happens at COMEX and if the uh, big commercials add more shorts to their position to monkey hammer these markets down, uh, which is a possibility. I think Ted Butler wrote a new article. Don't have time to discuss that right now, but I'll get into it when I have a chance to digest it more. Uh, platinum uh, currently sitting at 1083, uh, a range of 1058, 10, and a, uh, a high of 1088. Um, and palladium, we don't sell much of it. I sold a couple ounces this week, oddly enough. But you know what I was surprised to find out, though, is uh, palladium has a very, very low premium. You can buy palladium bars and rounds uh, from us for like the uh, the uh, Kitco ask price. Don't ask me why they use Kitco. A lot of the dealers do for uh, platinum prices. But Kitco ask price plus, uh, uh, what is it, what am I, 60 bucks, spot plus 60 bucks. So. Uh, palladium, really, the premiums are super cheap, but that's probably because there's enough of it out there and it's not in big demand. And uh, we're not going to talk about palladium either, so <laughs> it's not my specialty. Don't know much about it, don't sell a lot of it, but I just kind of found it interesting that the uh, premiums are super cheap on palladium uh, on the sell side, but they do get discounted quite heavily. I think the uh, discount on those is close to $100 below the Kitco uh, bid. So. Good range on this, on, but for buying it, the premium is not bad, but you go to sell it, you, you get hit pretty good on palladium. Well, let's take a look at the 24-hour charts and see what's going on. I'm going to do a quick refresh here, and uh, where, well, there we go. That, that was uh, Monday's, there we go, Monday's monkey hammering. Uh, not Monday, I'm sorry. We're in, yeah, Monday's monkey hammering right there. And uh, there is uh, yesterday right there, kind of markets were flat. And today, look at where the up markets are. This is kind of strange right here in the overnight markets, probably Globex here. Looks like gold just got a bid, man, took off uh, from that uh, uh, sub 18, you know, 18 high, 
1870 range and uh, up to 1895. Looking good, man. Uh, let's just see if it can maintain this. Uh, I believe that gold has uh, uh, broken its 200-day moving average. I believe it has, and uh, we're uh, sitting pretty right now. Again, let's see what happens tomorrow. Let's see if the big uh, commercial shorts of Comex al allows them, or if they're going to uh, 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 put some more shorts in there and try to drive this thing down. Uh, silver uh, is doing its damnedest to kind of escape. I said the other day or a couple days ago, I think the thumbnail for our video was uh, uh, silver is like a leashed hyperactive greyhound that's ready to chase that rabbit. It's, it's got these 50 and 60 cent increment moves. It's up and down. You see this choppy action. Uh, and, and again, the choppy action is not, well, there's Monday right there. Monday's monkey hammering by the big commercial positions, but they're losing this battle. It sure seems like they're losing this battle somehow. Again, as the CFTC and the COMEX kind of starting to realize that their credibility has gone to hell or going to hell if they don't do something about this, and they're, they're limiting these uh, commercial shorts, I don't know. We all hope so, but uh, let's see what happens here. Meanwhile, we've got good action in silver, and again, it's like a leashed hyper greyhound. I, li I like that. And I like that comparison. Uh, so let's get out of markets here. Things are looking pretty good. Hey, I wanted to mention to you premiums. I've lowered my premiums uh, here in my store on, uh, on our one ounce and 10 ounce and uh, uh, 100 ounce products. I got a really good deal on 100 ounces too, by the way, and 10 ounces. Uh, so I'll get to that in a, in a little bit and tell you what the best deals out there are as far as buying physical precious metals. Again, that being the one thing that I can do better than just about anybody out there on YouTube talking head and land. Um, Let's first just take a look at stocks and bonds. Don't ask me why I do. I'm going to, as soon as this market hits a bottom I'm, and, and gold hits the high, <laughs> here, I'm going to time this perfectly. My, my brilliant, my genius plan. Gold will be in bubble territory. Stocks and bonds will be in the shitter. I will cash out some of my gold and silver holdings and the bubble and the high. Doesn't mean it's going to crash, but once it kind of settles back in the bubble, kind of, all markets bubble, even the gold and silver markets bubble. Uh, it's just a matter of when and if you can time it. So if the time's right, my ideal situation is I'm going to sell off some gold and silver and I'm going to buy stocks and bonds, and, or stocks, I'm sorry, bonds. I'm going to buy stocks and uh, real estate, hopefully at a much cheaper level. I'm not sure about real estate, but uh, I'm figuring that uh, that'd be a great time. <laughs> anyway, this is why I've been following stocks here. Just to, And also, you know, this market starts to collapse. People look for places to put their money and they're going to put their money in gold. And this is kind of what we're looking like, just slow hemorrhaging. I believe that the... Uh, uh, again, I've talked about this many times, and it's my opinion, my conspiracy, that the plunge protection team has been kind of uh, preventing this market from just doing a big overnight crash. Maybe they learned their lesson in 2008, but I believe they've been going in there and just controlling uh, the amount that it's go that the, this, these markets are falling right here. So somehow, I don't know. Again, my conspiracy, uh, but no less. Uh, uh, I think we're in we're in for just a declining market. I don't think it's going to crash overnight. Who knows? But uh, I think we're going to see just uh, you know uh, the 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 cuts of a thousand. What is it? The cuts of a thousand deaths or uh, something like that. I forget what the name of the thing. Cut. Cuts of a thousand deaths or something like that, uh, and it's just going to be a little bit every day. 500 points, 300 points, 200, 100 down, and then sideways. But anyways, what the hell do I know about equities? I'm learning like you are. Uh, so much for uh, 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 Bitcoin being a uh, <laughs> or cryptos being a, uh, a safety hedge. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, for a long time, a lot of people that were in Bitcoin were saying, "Oh my gosh, you know, uh, Bitcoin has replaced gold." Well, apparently not. And I've said that for a long time. I mean. You know what you want to look at when you're when you're holding something that you know, you know, a security or some kind of uh, real money. Think about this: central banks all over the world, Russia, Russia. One of the reasons they're not so afraid of thumbing their nose at us now. They de-dollarize and they built a huge. They're the fourth largest uh, owner of gold. Um, and again, <clears throat> problem with the U.S. And I've talked about this before in the past is that uh, our idiot politicians have weaponized the U.S. dollar. They did it decades ago. It's nothing recent. They weaponized the U.S. dollar. And Russia and China both saw the writing on the wall and said, well, you know, they're going to turn that against us one day, so we ought to create our own systems. So basically, what, we, what did we do? Uh, two of our biggest customers for U.S. dollars no longer care about U.S. They like care about them, but no longer want or need them. They've de-dollarized, folks. You know how bad that is for the dollar? It's not good. 
Uh, but no less, what do they own? What do central banks in China own? What does uh, um, the Russian central banks own? What do European central banks own? They own gold, folks. They don't put cryptos in their vaults. They don't put uh, stocks and bonds in their vaults. Well, maybe the Fed does. <laughs> uh, but uh, they have gold in their vaults, folks. That's what, the, that's what central banks hold, all right? And that's probably a good tell for you that maybe you should do the same. It's a good hedge. Uh, and I think it's the safest bet out there when, when things start to fly, fly, you know, fly apart. Uh, I told you I wanted to tell you what the best, I told you, I tell you, I told you, I tell you uh, what the best deals out here. Um, I've been telling you for a long, I keep telling, no, stop telling people things, Brian. <laughs> I've been talking about uh, that uh, uh, Silver Eagles are really a, a horrible deal, and I'm going to tell you what I can sell Silver Eagles for, which are still way cheaper than Atmex, JM, and SD Bullion. I could sell random date silver eagles, back dates they call them, for spot plus 850 in small quantities. I could sell them for uh, less in larger quantities, okay? Um, and again, I'm pretty sure that's cheaper than Atmex, JM, and SD for small quantities at spot plus 850. Uh, I, I wouldn't want to sell you the 22s or a dollar more. I don't think it's worth paying a dollar more for a new date, personally. And I don't even like uh, silver eagles at spot plus 850, even though my price is better than any of them out there, uh, Atmex, JM, and SD Bullion. Uh, for small quantities. Uh, I just think that even is uh, too high. Um, premiums on the best deals, again, uh, if you come into my store and you ask my, me or my employees, hey, what's the best deal? We're going to tell you all the time. We make a fixed pr All I do is I charge, like, on small quantities, I, I take my cost, you know, for like uh, less than 100 coins, whatever my cost is, plus a buck per ounce. Whether it's Silver Eagles, whether it's one ounce bars, whether it's 100 ounce bars, we make a buck per ounce on small quantities, okay? And then I reduce it depending on the quantities that people are buying. So, it, you know, it doesn't hurt us to tell someone. We're not making uh, uh, more money by uh, uh, telling people to buy Silver Eagles. <laughs> and, and in fact, they're not a good deal, and we're not going to put you there for the most part uh, until the premiums do start to come down substantially. The best deal out there, and I, uh, right now, 100 ounce bars, I can get for spot, small quantities again, spot plus three dollars. I can do the same thing for 10 ounce generics now. My cost actually has been coming down on these things, so that's a good thing for, for you folks out there. So 10 ounce and 100 ounce bars, I currently can sell for spot plus three dollars while, while they're available, okay? Uh, one ounce rounds, it's still going to be spot plus 350. Uh, I think that's down a quarter from a couple weeks ago though. So uh, 10 ounce, 100 ounce bars, great deal uh, at spot plus uh, three dollars. And uh, again, one ounce is at spot plus three and a half. If you don't live in my area, uh, I would recommend that you find a local dealer that can be competitive and sell it to you like that as well. They're out there, and uh, keep that money in your neighborhood. Keep that money in your state. You know, when you buy from a local dealer, you know he pays his employees. His employees uh, uh, spend money in town, whether it's at the grocery store, local, you know, uh, uh, supermarket. You know, again, supermarkets, um, the local tackle store, the local tire store, the local jewelry, whatever. The money gets spent in your community, and this is really, really important, especially in these times where these mega corporations are just sucking up the dollars out of our communities and you'll never see them again. So try to buy local if you can, no matter what it is. Uh, so best deals again are not Silver Eagles, they are not Maple Leafs, they are not Silver Krugerrands, they are not uh, Silver Britannias. Those are not the best deals out there. The best deals out there are 10 ounce bars, 100 ounce bars, and the next best deal will be one ounce bars. 90% is still too pricey, wouldn't want to sell you that. My cost, my the wholesale cost I think is around uh, spot plus 450, 475. If you, if I got to go out and buy it from other dealers, um, and I guess the bid is not too bad. The bid is like spot plus 350 to four dollars or something in that range. Uh, so uh, I would tend to sell all my 90 to other dealers. I do not want to sell it to the you know my customers because again it's overpriced at at four and five dollars, especially when you can buy these things for spot plus three dollars. You know. Uh, and what else am I looking at here? It looks like the price of some of the gold products fell as well. Uh, gold uh, uh, eagles come down a little bit, but they're still overpriced in my opinion. Gold one ounce bars, let's see here. Uh, bars are still the best deal by far. Let me see if the bars came down at all uh, and what I can sell bars for now. One ounce gold bars sealed in cards. Oh my gosh, they have come down a little bit too. This is great, man. There's some premiums are really nice uh, right now. So. Let me see, what does that come out to? Uh, 35, 45, 55, uh, 65. Man, I can get bars for, I think, around less than 65 bucks over spot. Is that correct? Oh my gosh, 28, 30, 40, 50, 60. Oh, nope, got that wrong. Uh, 68. 
um, about 70, I'd say about 70 bucks over. So they have come down a couple a couple dollars. I got to do the math actually, but bars have even come down, I think about five bucks per ounce, which is a great deal. I believe we're, we're at sub $75 per ounce on uh, uh, one ounce gold bars right now. Eagles have dropped in price as well. Uh, let's see, the wholesale ask on them is approximately 65 to 70 bucks in that range. Uh, so if I tack on 45 bucks for an ounce, uh, what's that put in? 70, uh, so about 150, give me one second here, so about 100 and uh, uh, what is it, $15 or so it looks like over spot, 60. And let me just do the math real quick here, one more time, pardon me. Oh, there you go, she's not answering. Okay, there it goes, responds after I click on it. 68 plus 45. 113 bucks. So right now in small quantities, I can sell gold eagles for 113 bucks. But, you know, better deal. Uh, let me tell you what the better deal is here. Oh, geez, I keep doing that. 38 plus 45. Oh, no, 28 plus 35. Okay, so $73. So I'm sorry about that. So right now I can sell gold bars for spot plus $73 for small quantities. That's really a good deal. Uh, what other good deals are out there? It looks like gold maples are available. They're about the same price. They haven't come down at all. Uh, again, silver eagles came down about, I mean, gold eagles came down about four bucks, it appears, from last week. So they're about $4 cheaper, but they're still overpriced at that level. Uh, maples a little bit better. Again, maples are going to run, uh, what do you mean, 90? Uh, about uh, $87 over spot for small quantities on gold maples right now. You shouldn't be paying more than that. Uh, but Better deal, like I said, seventy-three bucks for gold bars. That's uh, even, you know, that's quite a bit cheaper than the maples for sure. And uh, there's no advantage to paying too high a premium, folks. I mean, I know some of you think that you're going to get more for it when you go to sell it, but that's unlikely to happen. The spreads on this stuff always change. Uh, let's take a look at uh, one of the reasons why we want to own gold. I did a one-month chart on the consumer price index, all urban consumer purchasing power for the consumer dollar in the U.S. average city. Uh, there you go, December. 2021. There's like a month, almost a month right there. Look at that line. Oh my God, it's scary. It's frightening. And no wonder people are flocking into gold right now. And this, we're going to take a look at some articles. I don't think I've seen this many articles on uh, gold uh, like I have this, this week. Uh, I think a lot of people are kind of moving into that uh, territory. I think we're going to see a lot higher price of gold as well. Uh, this is the, uh, this is the uh, misery chart right here. The red represents inflation, the blue represents unemployment. As you can tell, since this administration right here, unemployment figures have shrunk, but that's to be expected. Don't forget, this is the critter when the critter came out. And remember, folks, they're going to blame the critter for why the economy took a shit. It ain't the critter's fault. It's their fault. All right, both parties, both the red and the blue. Okay, it's funny we're looking at red and blue here, but uh, of course we expected to see unemployment figures decline uh, once the economy started opening up, and they and they allowed businesses to open up and do business after the draconian shutdowns and mandates. Uh, so you'll start to see the unemployment decline here. But look at that inflation! Holy crap! And this ain't going to get any better, in my opinion, as well. So. Gold's a good place to be. In. <laughs> uh, again, my opinion, gold's a good place to be, and silver as well. I think silver is underpriced. Uh, I really do. Uh, we've seen gold hit an all-time high three times already. Two thousand, you know. Two, obviously, we can't compare now to 1980s, but we saw 1980 gold, uh, you know, or silver at 50 bucks. We saw uh, 2012 silver at 50 bucks. But since then, we've not seen $50 silver at all. Uh, and uh, gold has. You know, gold had its 1980 high, it had its 2012 high, it had its high in 2020. Silver never got its high in 2020, so silver is due. It is overdue uh, for a rise in price. And I think what's going to happen with silver, one morning you're going to wake up and you're going to, holy shit, it's just going to go right through the roof. And don't forget, the biggest crooks of all, in my opinion, J.P. Morgan, is set themselves up for a uh, to become multi quadrillionaires. I think uh, JP is going to be the first quadrillionaire when the price of gold and silver. Remember, they were able, because of their, their uh, scheming, manipulative, fraudulent behavior all these years in precious metals, they were able to accumulate 1.2 million ounces, I mean, one, 
geez, a million ounces, I wish it was other, uh, was it 1.2 billion ounces of silver? Yes, you heard it right, 1.2 billion ounces of silver. And uh, JP was able to accumulate 30 million ounces of gold, okay? So they're all set up. And, and my understanding, too, that they likely sold some more. They, they added to their positions by buying the gold that they sold to Bank of America back. Don't ask me how that works. It's kind of weird. But again, JP Morgan, too big to uh, fail and too big to jail. They run this country, man. Don't you forget it. <laughs> so uh, gold looking really good out there. Mystery gold comes great articles too. BBL did a really nice article. Remember, Zero Hedge is free to read. Uh, and by the way, did you see the uh, CIA accused Zero Hedge of being uh, 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 working for the Russians? That was, tr trust me, go down and look at their articles, a few back here, and you'll see that there's some, wow. But no less, uh, let's take a look here. Um, Biden, okay, blah, 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 more blah, 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 more, more bullshit war propaganda. They ain't going to have a war, folks. They're just jawboning it up to take the pressure off themselves. And I've been talking about that all this week. Uh, bank run in Canada, uh, the top banks mysteriously go offline. Well, I'm sure that's probably explainable, but uh, boy, I'm telling you, did Trudeau go, Trudeau went completely freaking uh, uh, <laughs> draconian, you're not draconian, he just, uh, I don't even know what to say, he just went completely nuts, Trudeau. I don't think he's going to get elected again. I think that administration is in big trouble. Uh, they rolled all over their people, but I digress here. We're talking about gold. <laughs> that's a funny picture, actually, right there. Uh, oh, this time he senses they will invade. Oh, nice, senses. No facts or data, just senses it, okay? Uh, here you go, good article, another good article on gold. Gold's tried and tested insurance characteristics shine brighter than ever. Good article to read as well. I, I recommend that you go to ZH. I can't read it all for you today, folks. We don't want to make this video three hours. And uh, I think you'll gain more from it for reading yourself. But I'm seeing a lot more articles on gold and uh, mostly gold in uh, uh, ZH here and gold we trust again uh, and you're also seeing it in the mainstream corporate news they're starting to talk about gold more and so are the bankers and such so I think it's a good place to be well let's take a look at uh, uh, yesterday's video and I'll answer a few questions here uh, <laughs> stupid is as stupid does and obviously you know what I'm talking about I'm talking about cold wars and I'm talking about creating new wars and and why we can't afford wars, and why would we even be starting them or trying to or even agitate anything such? Where are the peacemakers out there? I don't know if they exist anymore. They certainly don't exist in this administration, uh, nor the last. Or they haven't existed in a long time. When's the last uh, diplomatic peacemaker that you've seen? Name one. All right, uh, I'll put it in the comments too. <laughs> I'd like to know who that is. Uh, Candace Owens treated that everyone should withdraw their money from all banks. If they don't actually keep a fraction of reserve anymore, why would it matter? They could just make more money with a few keystrokes. Of course they could cut off money spigot and blame it on the people. Then the people demand a solution. Uh, pretty uh, observant there, Colin. I really appreciate your comment there. Michael Matthews as well. Always good to see you guys. Um, <laughs> yesterday I said, uh, uh, I made a comment about tits on a log. You know, tits are little birds. I think they're little British birds. And... Uh, I was saying, what was I was saying? It was about useless as tits. <laughs> I forget. You have to watch yesterday's video. Sorry about that. Thanks, Russell. Um, and the mouse in the room, the minister, the, when, uh, yeah, they're talking about raising, uh, uh, raising the uh, rates again. Uh, you know who says he hasn't bought silver since 2020. I bought eagles and mortgages in that period. Uh, I think in 2020, they were actually a little more reasonably priced, silver eagles, I think. I can't remember. Uh, let's just say if I was a manufacturer, I'd be shorting big chunks of silver as well, especially if I were going to use JPN as a proxy from the eastern portion of the world. Ooh, astute comment there. Uh, Nilly Nush says, stagflation is an aim of the game for the future. The one world is wealth transfer is largely over. The oligarchs bought up all the land and real estate with their fiat debt notes. The bankers own the... Yeah, gosh darn, this, I'm getting depressed now, man. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Nilly. Can't argue with that. Merit Pride, uh, OTR driver. And uh, let's see what OTR driver says. I must be completely missing something. I hope someone can clarify. Silver's around 24 bucks plus a $9 premium. Uh, that would be for Silver Eagles, uh, making it 32 And again, bad deal, uh, Mr. Driver there. I don't think it's a good deal at all. Uh, you know, making them 32 33 bucks. That is correct. Too much money. If Silver goes to 100 you made 67 premium. So roughly $60 per ounce, potential profits. Uh, but still, why would you want to give up that extra money? If you're... If you're paying a $9 premium, think about this, on Silver Eagles, and you buy 100 ounces, you have spent, well, hold on, you have spent uh, 
Uh, I can tell you exactly. If you had bought 100 ounces of uh, um, uh, 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 Eagles uh, versus a 100 ounce bar, you would save, uh, what was it, 100 times $600. $600 you would save for the same amount of silver. How many more ounces of silver can you buy with $600 instead of a $9 premium? So basically, spot plus $3 for 100 ounce bars, spot plus nine or so, 850 or nine on Silver Eagles. And I'm very competitive, but it's a terrible deal. Uh, again, you can, you can, on 100 ounces, you're paying $600 more for Silver Eagles. You could, again, you could buy, how many ounces can you buy with that? You could buy a, a 10, 20, you could buy 10 or 15 ounces of more, more in silver than rather than paying uh, that ridiculous $9 premium on Silver Eagles. It's not worth it, I'm telling you. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, Mr. Driver. Uh, yeah, Linda, I know. I hate being right on this, but some stuff I am right on, and that's true. Thank you for watching. Uh, Jack says, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't watch any of them, sir. So, uh, But I respect you know people do what they want to do. Uh, yes, it's stupid to buy now at the near top as prices will tank when all else does. When markets crash, people sell for anything they can to get a quick, okay, Bob, I can't argue with that. I'm not quite sure if you're talking about gold, silver, or equities. I think you're talking about equities there. And uh, hey, Silver Lou, what's going on? Uh, Charlie King says, for a UK audience, what would be a better buy? Silver coins or bars since we pay VAT for both? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, man. I would actually uh, 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 try to buy from other private people and just skip the vet entirely. <laughs> put an ad in the newspaper or something, buying silver, pay more than, uh, seriously, I'd put an ad in the paper uh, buying from the public. I'd say, hey, buying silver uh, and paying, uh, uh, you know, spot plus three bucks or spot plus five dollars or something, whatever it is to competitively buy it. Buy from the public. If the dealers have to charge VAT for it, just avoid paying VAT and buy directly from the public. That's what I would try to do. Screw VAT. Uh, that's my opinion, Charlie, but you're kind of stuck with it. I understand what you're saying. Uh, dealers like myself, we have to follow the laws, but you know, at that point, go underground. Go underground and buy it from uh, uh, people that don't charge VAT tax. That's my advice. Uh, at some point, you got to, you know, hey, anyways, <laughs> don't want to get you in trouble. And uh, that's just my opinion, by the way. That's not advice. So I don't want to find out that you're in the bottom of a jail somewhere in the UK. <laughs> so thanks for watching, Charlie. Um, Defollow says, greeting. Uh, yeah, you're welcome, sir. Uh, appreciate that. Uh, what's the best day of the week and time to go to LCS, a uh, local coin store in your opinion? A day or two, which are not too many people. Um, I don't know, man. We're, we're like, we get busy all the time. It's spotty. It's hit or miss. Um, I wouldn't really worry about it too much. I would just kind of go in when you think the price is about right. I don't know what the best time is for most shops. Uh, for us, I think the quietest time we have is, wow, that's a good question. We're pretty much steady through the whole day, but it's choppy. Sometimes uh, it'll be steady through the whole day, and for about a half hour or 20 minutes, there'll be nobody in the store, and then all of a sudden it fills up again. Hard question, can't answer that. Sorry about that, D followed, but thank you for uh, commenting, and uh, thanks for watching. Um, yep, you, th you turned off the TV. I like that. Blow up your TV, throw away your paper, go to, a go to the country, build a home, plant a garden, eat a lot of peaches. Uh, pretty interesting. Try find Jesus on your own. There you go. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Pretty cute little saying there. Um, yeah, I grew up in Boca Raton. Thank you, and I appreciate you watching, strong man. Uh, my life is, I start with eight times. I make, oh, gosh, there's another crypto. Hey, you want to see what I do to crypto people when I see them? There we go. Ready? Goodbye, dumbass. <laughs> uh, not crypto people. That was, a, that was a scam. That was a scammer, by the way, crypto scammer. Uh, and you can always tell when I see them. Um, we talk like a big joke. It's not. It's fraud. Hey, Ernest, I get it. It is fraud that they're incurring, and, and we do talk about it. But you know, what? sometimes the best you can do is laugh about things. Sometimes, if you didn't, you'd probably cry. Uh, but we do. We're going to get there, and we're going to make them. Uh, we're going to stick it up their asses at some time. Uh, stack physical while you can get it. Great perspective. Thank you, Wildcat. Um, also, do the heads or tails on your silver round spin? Oh, I did today. I don't know if you heard it, Andrew, but it was a heads. Um, usually, you can hear it on the microphone. It, uh, get that. There you go. <laughs> oh, surf reports. Uh, I wish, you know, but there's no money in surf reports. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. Is supply drying up? I can't find any quantity of silver. First Majestic, most sold on the website. That is interesting because I have plenty of silver. And in fact, I, as you know, I just dropped my premiums, Clayton. So I don't know what area you live in. Um, uh, I would say, uh, again, try finding some local dealers and try find, even if you have to drive an hour or so to find a local dealer, make some calls. That would be my suggestion. Stick with your local dealers. 
Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, man, ho, ha, God, oh boy, I'm not even going to try that one. Desperate governments will take desperate measures. The Canadian government was able to, to oh yeah, freeze uh, bank accounts, stop crowdfunding. Uh, the only thing that worked is cryptos. Hmm. For once, explain to me how the hell gold and silver are going to help if governments declare it illegal to own again. They're not. That's never going to happen. That's a bullshit. Uh, uh, first off, uh, governments uh, declared it legal to own, illegal to own, uh, not own, but they, they made people turn in their gold. You know, you could keep your gold jewelry, but bullion. They made it illegal to own bullion because we were on the gold standard at the time. We haven't been on the gold standard since when? since the 1970s, all right? So yeah, they're never gonna confiscate gold. Never, ever, ever. And if you think crypto is a safer place to be, just wait till the internet and power goes down uh, or it gets hacked, all right? At least with gold and silver, you can stash it. It's been around for 5,000 years and it's gonna continue to be around. Not one of you gold bugs explain how gold can be used in economic down society with a predator government. Uh, I have a lot of yellow stuff and white stuff for life and I have no freaking how to use it when I need to. Uh, I don't think I'm the only one. No, you, I think you are the only one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, uh, no worries there. Uh, they're, nev they're not going to take your gold. It'll never happen. And I'll tell you why it won't happen again. We're not on a gold standard. And they don't need your, your, they don't need our gold. You know why? All they need is with a stroke of a pen, they can go after your pension fund. They can go after your bank account. They can go after your, uh, uh, your 401k with a stroke of a pen. And they can steal way more money than they could ever get if they confiscated gold or try to make gold illegal to own, which is not gonna happen. Again, we're not on a gold standard, all right? If we were still on a gold standard, there would be a possibility that we could see. And we're never going back to a gold standard, folks. They're, they're not that smart, trust me. Uh, and they're too used to f cheap, free money that they can just print endlessly. So that's why we're never going back to a gold standard. A reset, a reset, a reset is not going to happen with a gold standard. Uh, I mean, maybe they might have a basket of things that they have to back a currency, but I highly doubt that. They're just going to go back and create a new fiat. That's my opinion. Thanks for watching. I appreciate that. How? Uh, the reason you pay premium for gold in American Eagles is because they're $50 legal tender and count as such at custom declarations at border crossings. Woo, boy, I wouldn't want to risk that, Hal, to, uh, going across a border crossing and trying to claim they're only worth $50. They are on a face value, legal tender value, but, um, <laughs> you know, uh, I think that you could really get your stuff confiscated if you tried that. I really do. Um, they, yeah, they may have a $50 face value, but there's, there's uh, uh, $2,000 worth of metal right there. And the fact is, if you brought five or ten of them across the borders and you didn't declare, you only declare them for 50 bucks each, I, you're going to get nailed, I, I guarantee it. They ask you if you have more than $10,000 worth of cash or financial instruments. They don't just say cash. So you can't just bring gold eagles and say these are $50 each. They also say financial instruments or things like gold. So you, yeah, you do need to report it. And if you try to cross the border, you get a good, good chance of losing all your gold. Uh, or the stuff you try to bring across the border using the $50 legal tender status. Uh, why are premiums so high on Eagles? Um, you know, that's a good question. I don't know. It's a popular product. They've always been higher than other products. But I also believe that the uh, U.S. Mint has reduced the amount of silver Eagles they produce. Uh, combine that with big demand, and there you go. That's probably why the premium supply and demand. One thing about uh, precious metals when it comes to physical gold and silver, you know, bars and coins, not uh, ETFs and not paper, is that gold and silver physical is uh, very susceptible to uh, supply and demand issues, okay? Paper stuff, endlessly. They can, <laughs> they can endlessly give it to you and there's no, you know, there's no cost in it. All right, pump and dump. Yes, sir, stop watching industry media programs. We don't listen to Maine. Yeah, I agree with you. Thanks for all you folks that are watching here. Uh, well, I think we're going to end this video right here with my uh, theme for the year, which is think for yourself and always question authority. Couldn't hurt to question your own narrative sometimes, too. Um, whose narrative is in your brain? Is it yours or is it someone else's? Well, anyways, as I said, think for yourself and always question authority, especially. That's it. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Wear Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful audio by the sea. Call me anytime between 9, 10 and 4, Mondays through Fridays. We've been in this location since 1995. And our number is 954-493-8811. We only do physical local delivery, folks. So if you don't live in my area, unfortunately, we don't ship. We don't do any online sales or phone sales. Uh, so if you don't live in South Florida, I highly recommend you find yourself a good local dealer that can treat you like we do. All right? That's it. Thanks. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.